Hey guys, I'm Jameson, and this is Jamie, and today... <laughs> hey guys, I'm Jameson, and this is Jamie. Oh my god. Hey guys, I'm Jameson, and this is Jamie, and today we're going to show you how we made this twin storage bed for our daughter Madison. Let's show you how we did it. So I grabbed a couple of sheets of plywood from Home Depot um, and let me show you what happened. So they did the, the cross cutting, uh, let's see if we can't focus here. Uh, they did the cross cutting for me and there's quite a bit of tear out there. So we want to make sure that whenever you get anything cut down to size by Home Depot or any of the box stores, um, especially when they're cross cutting, you're going to want to leave at least three quarters if not an inch of just uh, waste there that we can trim down as soon as we get back and uh, to the table saw. So now that we've got all the boards cut, it's time to move on to the assembly. The first steps in the assembly process are going to be the headboard and the footboard. Now this is a simple design. It's a, uh, a plywood panel surrounded by a 2x4 frame and capped with a 2x4 as well. Um, to assemble this all, we're going to go ahead and drill some pocket holes and assemble this uh, plywood panel to the 2x4s with one and a quarter inch pocket screws and then the 2x4s to themselves with two and a half inch pocket screws. Now, we are using pocket hole joinery for this, um, for both of these, but there are many other ways to join this stuff together and by no means are you required to join this with pocket holes. Okay, while Jamie assembles the headboard and the footboard, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting together the storage boxes. These are essentially a three quarter inch plywood box but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave off the front panel uh, because we'll install that later. Now we're using birch plywood for these boxes but if you wanted to try a different option, you could get pre-finished maple plywood and then you wouldn't have to paint it. Um, I think we're probably gonna paint these boxes, aren't we, Jay? Yeah. But yeah, pre-finished maple would look great on this with a painted front. It would give you a nice finished look. All right, so now I'm attaching the casters. These are two inch casters um, that we picked up at Home Depot. But uh, we got the straight casters versus the, the swivel casters so that when you pull these drawers out, they come straight out and straight back in versus uh, going all over the place. Since we're painting bare wood, the first step in the finishing process is to use the primer. We're using the Zinser Shellac Base Primer because it has excellent coverage and really seals the knots and makes sure they don't bleed through when you do your top coat. All right, so now we've got the drawers assembled and the casters installed. Jamie actually painted the drawer fronts so that we didn't have to worry about that after the fact. I've cut some two inch spacers 
Um, and those are gonna go under the drawer front as I'm screwing them in. Um, so we're gonna drill some pocket holes in the front inside of this, uh, of each of these drawers, set this on those spacers and then secure it from inside with one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws and some wood glue. All right, so we've got the rails done and we went ahead and started to assemble it in Madison's bedroom. Um, since this is a storage bed, we're not gonna use a box spring because that would just lower the, um, the bottom of the bed. Um, so we're gonna be using slats and those are just the one by four um, furring strips. And we're gonna space those about, I think they're about three inches apart and that's gonna provide enough support for the mattress so that we can negate the, um, the box spring itself. Now, if you're going to be um, if you're going to be breaking this down a lot or moving this furniture, then you're going to want to look into some bed rail hardware. Um, they assemble fairly easily and they, they make it so that the, the bed rails will actually just kind of snap into place. Um, since this is going to be stationary for us for a while, we're just using pocket hole screws and that's just going to cut down costs. Okay, so I've got these little adhesive rubber dots and I'm just gonna put two of them on the top of the, um, the drawer front and that's just gonna save the bed rail when inevitably the kids just slam this thing shut. It's your big know. debut. Smile and be like, I'm so pretty. Do that. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> You're so crazy. <laughs> this is a really simple bed to build. And the best part about it is that it can hide a lot of toys underneath. You also don't require a box spring. The mattress goes directly on top of the slats and it makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more affordable to build. And who else loves it? Me. You. <laughs> Maddie loves the it. The best part is there's tons of storage on both sides. It can be easily modified. Oh my for... <laughs> it can be easily modified for... <laughs> it can be easily modified for different size mattresses. For full size, you just make it slightly wider. A twin XL would make it slightly longer, so those sizes can oh be easily word, found online. <laughs> Overall, it's just a simple, good-looking bed, and uh, I think it will be used for years to come. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I love that bed. You love that bed. <laughs> uh, until next time. Be safe and happy building. See you guys later. See you later.